Well, welcome everybody. My name is Dori Ferranto with Assistance Insurance Agency and I am the Upland Chamber of Commerce Chairman of the Board for 2021 term. Very excited to be here. We are entering our holiday season and we're so happy that you're here for our first Friday holiday breakfast sponsored by American Financial Network. Thank you, Amy Valdivia. Remember, this will be recorded, so have your little smiles on and ready for the camera the whole time. And you can go ahead and tune in to our YouTube channel to uh, watch the video if you missed anything during the meeting. Uh, and I just want to remind everybody, because I keep forgetting to say this, our theme this year is it's never a gamble when you bet on yourself. So be sure to bet on yourself this holiday season and all year long. So let's see. Who attended the... Uh, Big Queen Bingo on Wednesday night. Was that not the most fun ever? Tommy Rose is so great. Chamber did a great job. And all those gift baskets, thank you so much. Amy, oh my gosh, I can't believe I won the grand prize. Woo -woo. So happy. Thank you so much. So uh, I did say we were recording this. I want to remind everybody to download your Shop Upland app. Check it out by texting Upland to 63975. And please follow Shop Upland on our special media accounts. And this weekend, we are having a great event. We will be playing Spin It to Win It. And we have over 50 businesses who have donated prizes in our city because our Christmas Adventure City, well, oh, for our Christmas Adventure City Wide Scavenger Hunt. Oh, Becca shared the screen, the flyer. So there we go. And we're doing that in lieu of having our Christmas parade. So please join us. It's a two-day event. It's so awesome. We'll learn a little bit more about it later. And then um, then, story real quick on this spin it to win it, since we're talking about that, when you have the app on your phone, there will be a little button that says spin it to win it. You actually click the button. You might only have a chance to spin once a day or once per the whole weekend. I don't know on the level, but you push the button, you spin it, and then you win the prize. So it's that simple just by pushing a button. Well, there you go. We all need to be on Shop Upland and spin it to win it. So I would like to recognize our board of directors. Who is here today from our board? Raise your hand. I know Peggy's here, Aaron's here, Terry's here, Amy's here. Thank you so much to our board. Oh, Eric's here. Sorry, Eric, didn't see you. Your little face wasn't on there. You can't so there we go. Well, thank you so much. But really the backbone and that does a lot of our work behind the scenes are our ambassador team. So if our ambassadors could please be recognized. There's Brittany and Dan and oh, and Vincent's here. We got, we, you know what? We've got a special guest in the house. It's really not, well, you're here all the time, Vincent. That's why you are our ambassador of the year. Yay, Vincent. Thank you so much for all you do. Uh, let's see, and he is with Golden One Credit Union. So remember, Vincent Roldan, Ambassador of the Year with Credit One, Golden One Credit Union. Uh, free business marketing videos for all of our members on the Chamber website. Please send them in and you can get your video up there. You just have to have a YouTube link. So go ahead and take advantage of that. Do we have anybody here from our city? No? Terry? No, no, no. All right. So Peggy, I'm going to hand it off to you for our advocacy report. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Happy December. Um, not too much to report. Um, just want to remind everybody, though, that the government affairs meeting is the second Thursday of every month. And um, we are dark this month, so we will not be having it, but be back in January. Um, and also a reminder that you can go to the Upland Chamber website and on our homepage there is an advocacy tab under more and in there you can find the advocacy uh, business in upland um, and then all the COVID-19 information you need on grants how to keep your businesses open um, and any more information that just keeps coming out so that is all I have um, nice to see everybody and thank you Sorry. Thank you, Peggy, very much. Appreciate that. I am going to go ahead and recognize our Chairman Circle members. If you're not familiar with Chairman Circle, please get a hold of the Chamber office. It's an investment between you and the Chamber for your business, and it can lead to all kinds of things. So we announce your name at every meeting. So let's go ahead and recognize those members. We've got Casa Kalina Hospital and Centers for Healthcare, Holiday Rock, Hi, Peggy's here, Vertec Waste Industries, Assistance Insurance Agency, 
Inland Productivity Solutions, I think Eric's here, Care for Women's Medical Group, Starstruck Events at Livia Bella, Cutting Edge Builders, Pacific Auto Sales and Leasing, Wright Family Trust, Chino Commercial Bank, Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, Cornerstone Commercial and Personal Insurance Services, Family Foot Center Podiatry Center, Uptown Autocraft, Carden Arbor View School, Sinorama, Ontario, see him in the house here, Right at Home In-Home Care, I see Dan right there, Homebridge Financial Services, not sure if Dave's on, Banner Bank, Kessler Allaire Insurance, American Financial Network, we know Amy's in the house, Southern California Edison, Inland Valley Recovery Services, Verve Weight Loss and Laser Aesthetics, Red Hill Plaza, Bridge Development Partners, Lang Wasser and Company Inc. CPAs, Upland Collision Craft. Did I miss somebody? One. That golden one. Oh. Did we say Golden One? Golden One Credit Union, Vincent okay. Roldan. My gosh, I think I get points just for saying Vincent's name like five times this morning already, right? Vincent, Vincent. So see, I remembered because Vincent is our newest Chairman Circle member. So thank you so much for uh, being Chairman Circle members. Okay, I'm gonna introduce our sponsor this morning. We've got Amy from American Financial Network and Joe Morgan, is Joe with you? He's actually in the car. Oh, all right. Hi, Joe. Okay. Amy, take it away. Good morning, everyone. I want to say welcome and thank you. Boy, we have a small crowd today, but it's okay because we're just cozy. We're going to enjoy the upcoming holiday season and American Financial. We are so grateful to be part of the chamber. And as you know, we've been around for quite a while. Uh, however, we've just been part of the chamber for a few years and we've just had a blast. We've grown and we've met so many great people. And I wanted today to give a little bit of background about what's going on because the number one question that American Financial is receiving is what's going on in Upland? Is it even the right time to buy? Should we do something? What? how's our money going to work? Are we going to lose everything? Is there going to be a big bubble? I'd like to address all of that just by looking at our neighborhood. It's a great place to invest. Go ahead, Rebecca. Next slide. Why would you even think about buying a home in the middle of a pandemic? Well, look at Upland. Our median home sales price is 531288 That's the median. That means that's the middle sales price. There's a bunch of houses that sold for more and a bunch of houses that sold for less, but right smack dab in the middle is 531,288. Where do you think our market is going? Upland is a great place to live. Look at the historical data. We've had some appreciation, so we know that our property values go up, but look at what's projected. Even knowing that we've got, to, the country has to get out of this pandemic debt. Look at what we're dealing with. 7.77% appreciation is projected for next year. Over the course of the next five years, they're looking at Upland to appreciate over 33%. Our, let me tell you, Phoenix is number one in the nation right now at 19% appreciation. Southern California, is number six, specifically the Inland Empire. That's us. We're just, we're, we're poised to have great appreciation. We're living in a town that really can benefit from some good things coming out of this. So dollars and cents, what does that mean? Over the course of the next five years, we could be gaining over $175,000 each just in, in our properties. Next slide, please. And then everybody says, well, maybe I'll just wait. I'll wait for the crash. Or do you think interest rates are getting a little bit lower? What should I do? So what I did was I penciled it out a little bit and God, thank God for technology because we have all these nice little calculators that do a lot of math for us. And all I did was I stuck with the property median sales price of 531,000. If you wait thinking, I'm just gonna wait six months, see how this market works based on the projections that we're seeing, 
that same property is now going to cost you 553,000. If you wait one year, it's gonna be 572. Look at what happens three years from now. That same property is going to be over $100,000 more. And I'm telling you, I did not change any of the numbers. I went directly off of what the mortgage economists are telling us. And Vincent knows this. We, we have multiple economists you know, that come out and tell us what's going on in the economy nationwide. There are separate people that specifically deal with mortgages, specifically deal with properties. They don't necessarily focus on the whole economy. They focus on our area. So what I do is I drill down from their information. I didn't add anything. I didn't take anything away. This is specifically what they're telling us Upland is supposed to have happen over the course of the next three years. So we're living in a great place and it is absolutely a great place to invest. Down payment, I want you to take a look at that. If you bought that house today, just 5% down, $26,000. Look at what happens in three years. At minimum, you'll need $32,000. In three years, how that's changing. Next slide, please. Before I move forward, I wanna ask a question. What do you think the number one person, number one reason is for people to buy a home? Security. Anybody else? With their future, I mean. Not there to pay go. rent. What? Not to pay rent. The number one reason people buy homes? Absolutely. Rent is right up there. Security is right up there. But no, the number one reason? Families. They're making babies. <laughs> and what, what do we know is going to happen out from the pandemic, the result of the pandemic? What are people doing? They're making babies, shopping on Amazon, looking at houses. Go ahead, Dory. I know you want to say something. You were muted. <laughs> and drinking mimosas at 8.30. Just kidding. It's just orange juice. I'm just Leading kidding. to making babies. <laughs> so as our families are growing, that's why people are looking into investing into their first home. That's why we want to make sure that they're keeping up with this kind of information. So they, they say, well, again, now, how long are these rates going to stay low and how is it going to benefit me? And this, you know, there's going to be this bubble, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'll tell you, the number one reason why a government keeps interest rates low and whether anybody wants to debate that or not, that's, you know, everybody has their own opinions, but reality is the governments, world governments are manipulating what interest rates do, right? Is debt. How many trillions of dollars of debt are we in because of the pandemic? And now they're going to give us another stimulus package? How long, how many years does it take you to actually claw your way out of debt? You know, you go and you buy something online on credit, it's gonna take a few years or you have a few bad years, it's gonna take a few years to, to recover. That's why this ride and taking advantage of what's in Upland, what we have to offer is gonna be good for a while. And I want, I'm hoping that I'm giving some optimism here because there's so many negative things being out there, put out there on the media. And I don't want you to think that, oh my gosh, all doom and gloom, we're all gonna lose everything we have here in Upland. Absolutely not, we're in a great, great place. So what does all this mean in dollars? If you bought a house today, you, there are two things that you gain. You gain an appreciation because the value is going up, which we've already established, but you also gain in amortization. And what's amortization? Amortization is basically you're paying down your balance. So you're paying off, right? Think about what happens. Look at the three-year number. Over the course of three years, that $531,000 home that we talked about, if you waited, you could be losing $143,000 that's yours. Do you think that there's a little bit of wealth there that you could be earning from $143,000? Do you think you could be doing some great home improvement projects, have a new beautiful backyard the way Dory did it? Do you think that maybe just maybe you'd have some extra money to invest? What do you think you could do with $143,000?
And that's just because you chose to buy a home in the median sales price in Upland. Next slide, please. This is just similar information, just showing you the breakdown of really how that works out. So although you're paying into your mortgage and paying down your balance over the course of three years, you would pay down $33,000. Look at how much the values are going up in Upland. In three years, that house will go up $109,000. And that's just basic projections. Nothing extra, just really what the, the mortgage economists are telling us. So next slide, please. And I'm going to wrap up with the second greatest question, not about buying, but about refinancing. Oh my gosh, I just refinanced last year or 18 months ago. And I actually have a pretty good rate. I'm in the threes, 3.99. What do I do? You know what? Vincent and I have talked about this and boy, We've been quite busy since the pandemic hit. Let's just say you went from 3.99 a year ago down to 2.75. Same loan that I've been using in all my examples. Look at the interest that you're paying in the 3.99 mortgage. $1,600 in interest versus $1,100. Do you think you might be having a little bit of a savings with that? And we know based on the information that we've already been presenting, that the interest rates are poised to stay low for quite a while. So when you hear on the media, oh my gosh, interest rates shot up, or there's a blip, you went from 2.75 to 2.8, or down to 2.5, and then up to 2.8, it's not that significant of a difference when it's just a, an eighth of a point, three eighths of a point. Look at the breakdown. What does it mean? $1,600 versus $1,100. $1,600 versus $1,200. That's a substantial savings over the life of the loan that you're, you're going to make up. Again, going back to your wealth. So with that, I will say happy holidays, Merry Christmas. If you have questions, go ahead, next slide, please. Sorry, I jumped right <laughs> into my en ending. If you have questions, concerns, really want to dig in, hey, I like Upland and I think this is the great greatest place to be give us a call. We're right here in downtown. Joe and I have been doing this for a long time. And I started when I was two, <laughs> over 30 years in the business for myself. And he's been in the business over 20. So we are here to help. We're here to guide you. We have these great calculators to show you what's available in the neighborhoods that you're looking at. Thank you so very, very much and enjoy your holidays. If you have questions, now's the time. I'd like to give Amy a shout out. She's helped me over like what the last 10 years. And she helped me out at a time one time when I pretty much lost it all, but she helped me get a plan together. And since then I've been able to buy again and she saved me money and we refi again. So I just want to give a shout out to Amy. I remember the day she met me in the middle of a parking lot. We signed docs or signed something <laughs> on top of our cars at like seven o'clock in the morning because I had to get to a meeting and so did she. But that's the kind of service that you're going to get from Amy and Joe if you go with American Financial Network. So oh my she's gosh, always so there. Sweet. She's not one of these fly-by-night American, you know, <laughs> mortgage companies out there who you can't talk to anybody, but she's great and she's a great service person as well. And I will always consider her a professional. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Terry, thank you so very, very much. Yeah, you know, we... Uh, when, when you call, you're going to deal with us. That's the one thing yeah. Joe and I do. We focus on you and we're the ones actually working on your file. Um, we, you know, we have some people call some of those online companies or, or other competitors and they say, oh, well, you know, I'm just, uh, I was talking and now all of a sudden I can't get an answer and things like that. Well, you know, if you, if you get a delayed response from Joe and I, I promise you, I promise you it's truly because we're talking to another one of your buddies. We're on the phone with another customer. It, we do not pass off your information. We work the files, absolutely. Him and I, right here in the office. Thanks for that, Terry. Thank you so much, Amy. Appreciate that. That was great. 
Uh, now I would like to introduce our director of the ambassador team, Matt Reynoso, Heartland Payment Systems, and Vincent Roldan, Golden One Credit Union, the co-director of this year's ambassador team. And I need to get some points, so I want to give a quick shout out to the ambassador of the month, who other than the Vincent Roldan of Golden <laughs> Credit Union. Ouch. <laughs> Look at that picture. <laughs> Don't you feel so loved this morning? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very regal looking, Vincent. Yes. I was told that it, it uh, I, I was so serious because I'm serious about doing loans. <laughs> oh. nice. Nice. So can, uh, who uh, joined this month? We have okay, new members? So, and announcing our two new members for this month is Allure Image. And I know she was here on the call. Uh, Jessica's still here. Jessica, okay. And then our, uh, we also have Cozy Pets, which is uh, opening up their second location. And I know that we do have a, a, a ribbon cutting for them coming up uh, this month as well. That kind of got I know. canceled. So uh, Vincent doesn't know that, but yesterday, Vincent, because the governor's new you know, region closure, <laughs> no. we're not going to be able to have our ribbon cutting. So I think all of our ribbon cuttings are going to be canceled for the month of December. But also I wanted to announce late yesterday afternoon, we had a knock at our door and another member joined and that was John Ferranto. I recognize <laughs> that last name and that's Dory's son. And he came in and joined and he is from ADP payroll. And he is in trouble because he's not here this morning. So <laughs> text him early. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah, three new members. So, yes, very exciting. Yeah. That is really great. We're signing up new members during a pandemic. This is amazing. Amazing. And it just goes to show what a value this chamber is to businesses. And uh, please tell all your friends, tell you all that own businesses to join the Upland Chamber because we are making it happen here. Terry, you want to uh, give some shout outs to our renewing members? Yes, but I think um, Matt and Vincent, we're going to finish their little yeah. story. Sorry, guys, I thought you were done. <laughs> Oops. Uh, well, right now we're, we're in the seasons of giving and we have so many resources here at the chamber. I really want to recommend everybody to uh, look at the chamber members and find out who you haven't talked to and, you know, just have a phone conversation with them and let's do business with the chamber. Let's stay strong in the community. Um, so find your chamber members and let's do business. Also, for, for this month, um, we didn't pick a particular category of focus for uh, uh, members, but what we are looking at is to just take a look at your friends, family, um, people that are uh, neighbors, and, and if they're not part of the chamber, invite them. Invite them to come to the Zoom meeting, invite them uh when we do have ribbon cuttings again to come and see how you can promote their businesses and and whatnot so that's going to be our focus for the month of december is um uh spread the cheer by inviting people to the chamber thank you just like dory did she invited her son to join thank you dory yes. so i'm going to be announcing our renewing members so the first one on my list is claremont and upland quarterly magazine so in our office, we have a nice little magazine that they put out, has all the different coupons in our neck, in our, our city and our neighboring city. So if you want to sneak away from your office, the chamber office, if you do the secret knock, we will open it up and pass out that magazine. And then also we have custom spas direct. So if you're looking for a spa now that you have to be quarantined at home, you can reach out to Jim Galplin and their business is right here in Upland. So you'll be shopping Upland. So we like that. And then if you need some dine-in food, you could always order from Gourmet, Gourmet Catering. They did our wonderful mm -hmm. dinner for us at our installation dinner. And then we also have the San Bernardino County Auditor Controller. We also have Inland Cosmetic Surgery mm. at Plus Hospice. Flip my pages, I have so many people that renewed. And we have PNG Accounting, in case you need to get your taxes started. We have SB County, Bob Dutton, Assessor Recorder, Stone Funeral Home. 
And that is it. Thank you for all renewing in the Upland Chamber. Story Thank back you. to you. All right. Well, our announcements, we, as Terry said, we did have a ribbon cutting, or Vincent said, we did have a ribbon cutting, but it did have to get uh, postponed. So we will keep you updated on that. And uh, we have our holiday lunch party with breakout groups and Christmas caroling on Thursday, December 17th. No guest speaker with more time to network. And that is sponsored by Carden Arbor View School. Thank you so much, Terry. Appreciate it. So is the Christmas caroling going to be the kids or it's going to be <laughs> our breakout groups? <laughs> right. We should be practicing songs in our breakout group. So I've been wanting to karaoke this whole time. Oh, yeah. Because our, because our children are, some of them are here on campus and some of them are on Zoom still have never come back. Um, even though we are open on a waiver. This year, we will probably do our own caroling. So each of you come up and join us on the 17th and we'll be singing along together. Um, right now it's been kind of a, a tough thing to coordinate all these children <laughs> into all these screens. So we decided we're just gonna do our own little sing along as chamber members and we'll all just sing from our hearts. But I will have a quick pre uh, presentation that day. Very thank good. you. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank hey, you Aaron, uh, wanna tell us more about what's going on this weekend? Yeah, I suppose. Um, well, the city is putting on, as, as I've mentioned more than once, the city is putting on, on December 5th and 6th, the Upland Christmas Adventure. This is a scavenger hunt. A lot of businesses have participated and sponsored, but right now what we're looking for for this event are 12 more inflatables, um, the, preferably with a Christmas theme. In fact, it's mandatory. Let's make it Christmas theme, not Halloween. Seems inappropriate. Anyway. Um, we need to, we're looking for those things. Uh, this is a whole thing where you, you're going to use your Shop Upland app for this scavenger event also. Sounds like a very good time. Check out the website at holidaysinupland.com. Um, again, we have over 50 businesses that have sponsored so far. If you're interested in sponsoring, contact the city. They would love to see you there. And just a shout out to some of our people that are here in our meeting that are participating. Dan McGuire, every single inflatable that you drive up to, there's a special radio station. I think it's channel 106.1, but we do have a little sign out there that tells you what station to tune into. You will hear Dan McGuire. What a professional radio voice he has. I felt like I was at Disneyland as I was listening to it. He does a nice little announcement. It goes into Christmas music, goes back into some more announcings and more Christmas music. And then Holiday Rock is one of our special sponsors. So you'll have to go out and find their inflatable. So thank you, Holiday Rock. And we have a lot of other people, uh, Terry DeMarco. She's got a holiday inflatable up at her school. So I'll hint, hint. We know we could always start at her school if you wanted to to join in, there will be signage on how to download the app, or you can always check out the website, holidaysinupland.com. The map is actually up so you can see all 12 inflatable locations so you can find out where to start. So again, thank you all for participating in this Christmas adventure. Safe Indeed. Enough. And guys, time is running out. If you're thinking about helping out with this event, this is tomorrow and Saturday night. So they're all day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. both nights. So if you want to get involved, stop dragging your feet. Get out there. All right. Can we take the flyer down? There we go. Thank you. All right. Back to you, Dory. Thanks. All right. Now we're going to do our networking activity. It's this Christmas scavenger hunt. And then we'll do our breakout uh, group networking. So let's have some fun. Do a quick desk scavenger hunt. You cannot leave your desk so for these items and you will get points and I might throw in some extras just because they might be fun to do so let's see how many of you have a candy cane at your desk I have a candy cane I have a candy cane hold on not that I knew the questions because I did not but I'm not even playing I'm just saying candy cane Dan has a candy cane Terry you who's keeping score I am all right who has a holiday pencil? 
Anybody? Anybody? Hold on. I think Amy might. Amy has one. All right. Who has a Christmas ornament? Oh, hold on. I do. I do. I do. I do. Some of you might be home. David, you must hold have on. an ornament on that fake tree behind you. Ooh, Dan has one. I have one. Dan has an ornament. Dory does. Vicky does. Who else has one? I have three. Dan, David, do I see one on your fake tree behind you? I see oh, Eric grabbing for something. Oh, it's a coffee cup, not <laughs> a Christmas ornament. Right, so who do I have? I only have Dan, Dory, Vicky, and David. Anybody right. else have an ornament? Oh, look at Dan's got two. Oh, and Terry DeMarco. Oh, and Terry DeMarco. All right. You know, with as much crap as is on my desk, you would think I would have all of these things. Dan, I would, but, but I think you all might have this. How about a coffee cup? Who has a coffee cup? You get one extra point if it's a holiday coffee cup. Megan, Vincent, who else? Melanie, did you have one? No, Dory. What if it was? What if it was given to me for a holiday? Oh, <laughs> that should be two <laughs> extra points. Cheater. All right, all right. Who has? Okay, that's five points. Who has breakfast at their desk? I have bre breakfast. Coffee desk, yes. like coffee. I oh, have breakfast. David does. David has like a big old breakfast there, like sausage, uncooked sausage. Or he's just—he's got uncooked sausage. That's some right. odd stuff you keep at your desk, brother. He's that making is some breakfast. weird stuff. We're all going to sign a Roma after for breakfast. What about the, 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 the shakes? Yeah, the whole right. yeah, fruit and shake. Anybody else? Breakfast? Oh, Terry has. There's Terry Demarco. Has she's eating? I have a holiday pear. Ooh, yeah. Um, all right, and who has a Christmas card? I, don't know. I do. All right, Caitlin. I do. Brittany. Brittany. See, Eric. Megan should appreciate the Christmas card I have. Harry. Dan, Harry. you left your, your site, or did you just have to grab? Okay. Dan. All right, wow, Dan. Oh, Amy. In every area. Amy. Right? Right. Uh, yeah, I got two. Who has, <laughs> okay, that was the end of this. But like I said, who has a Christmas mimosa? <laughs> Nobody? Oh, I get I get 100 oh, wait. points. Sorry. Oh, wait, you, yeah, you didn't know the questions. Jordan's <laughs> <laughs> making these up now. Who, Starting has, to see who has a Christmas powder. wreath <laughs> at their desk? Anybody? No? Everybody, okay. So, wait, Caitlin, do we still have our wreath from Brittany? I do. I can make it a hat too. Oh, who has their Christmas hat on? Duh, that would be it. Hello, oh, there we go. We got Anna has I brought, one. I just brought Sam. Vincent has one. All right, all right. Wait, wait. I got more. Who's got a Christmas placemat? <laughs> Corey, my wreath is bigger than your wreath. Oh, oh. <laughs> got a wreath. Look at that wreath. Oh, look at Lauren's got the great placemat. Look at how pretty hers is. Oh, Lauren oh. does have a placemat. She wow. gets the prize for the prettiest placemat. My wow. goodness. A no, Christmas, yeah, pictures down how about one more? Lauren. A Christmas pillow. <laughs> oh, my uh, gosh. She's really Dan, ready. unmute yourself because you're winning, but we wow, can't Dan. see what we're showing. Where, yeah, do you have where's a the theme park voice? Lauren, oh, wow. I liked your wreath. It was pretty. All right. The pillow, I'm just kidding on my, my ones. All right, so Terry, that, that was all I had on that. The winner? Oh wait, who's in Christmas pajamas? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> just kidding. Christmas jammies, Christmas earrings, anybody? <laughs> I got all decked out for this today. Terry told me, be ready for the Christmas spirit. I'm like, all right. You, you I just have a shirt antlers. on. You forgot huh? the antlers, Dory. Oh, oh no, I'm a penguin. I just have ears. No, look at we have one reindeer. Oh, yeah, we do have a reindeer. Oh, well, that was a hat, but okay. A yes. reindeer today. I say extra points for the antlers. <laughs> yeah, considering it's her first time ever coming to a chamber. Oh, oh my God. Antlers. Oh, yeah. Anna gets like a hundred points for that. Then. <laughs> right? <laughs> so. All right. By looking, All right. At, looking at my score sheet, the winner of today's. Holiday dust scavenger hunt is Dan McGuire. Woo! Do ornament man. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me in my holiday extravaganza. <laughs>
you want to hear more of that, join us for our Christmas adventure. You'll be hearing Dan at all 12 of our inflatables. We like oh, the inflatables. Yes. And then I have the prize that I'm going to be awarding to Dan McGuire, the scavenger desk holiday. And that is a nice bottle of wine here. It is Ooh. actually from the Fairplex. It won their bronze award. And it's a Napa Valley Merlot. Ooh. So Dan? That's my favorite. <laughs> I have a feeling Dan's going to be speaking in his radio voice now all the time. All the time. All the time. <laughs> He's going to call you on the phone and go, hi, Terry, it's Dan. <laughs> with Ride at Home. Cruising <laughs> along evening. Hey, Dan, <laughs> Come on by. Yes. We'll take a picture. And post all right, right will do. Thank there you very we much. You're welcome. There we go. So I always give a closing thought on taking a chance. And I found, take a chance. All life is a chance. The man who goes farthest is generally the one who is willing to do and dare. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> I am not sorry. Take a chance. Because guess what? It's never a gamble when you bet on yourself. Just remember that. And I'm going to play you out with some different sort of music today. My favorite Christmas song. Santa Reminds Baby. Reminds me of my husband. I sing it to him all the time. Santa Baby, but I say Santo Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a really good girl. So, anyway, I'd like to thank you for attending our breakfast. We hope to see you at our luncheon. Take care. Happy holidays to you all. And thank you so much for participating today. Have a great day, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank, thank you for you. having me, Anna. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Anna. Bye.